at a funny angle. Why do we call it a funny angle when there's nothing funny about it? Alistair Campbell says, I practice social distancing, but I've noticed less fear. Yeah, well, I think since the schools went back and they were told to just get on with it because apparently all the schools and the wonderful teachers have spent a long time measuring up classrooms, putting everything two metres apart, taping off areas, um, getting all the cleaning right, having to clean down all the tables and chairs between classes. They've done that. And then the government said, just get the kids back. Never mind about anything. And, you know, I mean, what's that all about? I reckon we're heading back to lockdown next week or the week after, says Paul Acos. Tell us, Paul, what makes you say that? I'm interested in what makes you say that. Is that you back up in business with the stream, Scotty? I'm just back from St. Andrews. I've not been in 20 years. Lovely place. I remember you in Lanarkshire years ago when you met up with a mutual friend. Absolutely, Andrew. Met up with a top man and uh, a top engineer, uh, dare I say. Fantastic man. You tell him I'm asking for him. I love St. Andrews. I love the beach. And I saw, did Andrew see the report tonight on the news about people are now dropping masks and um, wipes on the beach and things. Guys, always please take your litter away because that adds to the risk. There's no magic fairies that come and clean it up. A lot of that stuff doesn't biodegrade easily, especially things like rubber gloves and wet wipes and all that kind of stuff. So please, 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 I beg of you, if you're out and about, take your litter home. Take a bag with you and fill it with all your litter. Say, right, have we tied it up before we go? Because it's your planet as well. There's no magical authority. There are wonderful people that do do their best to clean the place. But think about them. Same with the motorway. These poor people out risking their lives because there are idiot drivers on motorways. And these people risk their lives just because you've thrown a bit of litter out your car, a nappy or something. Stop. So there we go. Um, that's what I say. Anyway, now then. They said that the UK is getting stage two of corona. When did we get rid of one and go on to stage two? Davy Young, very true. Good night, Scotty and everyone, says the wonderful Kareem. Good night, Kareem. Lovely having you with us. And Dinky Doo, I say. What does Dinky Doo mean, Scotty? Is this Thomas Penman? Thomas Penman, Dinky Doo. Uh, Dinky Doo means is all well with you and the world. I think it can be traced back to the Emperor Zero. When the Romans were going home, the Emperor Zero was addressing the Roman soldiers, the centurions in their toga pri textas. And he said, Dinky Doo, everybody. And the Romans all replied, Dinky do zero. So there we are. That's where I think it comes from. Uh, Mrs. Mac agrees with you, Scotty. Yes, quite right. Those masks are as dangerous as junky needles. Jammer, drummer. You're absolutely right. They could be carrying coronavirus. So, guys, please dispose of your masks and your PPE carefully in a bin. Polycos. Pardon me. Manchester, Liverpool, Newcastle. It's all northern English cities at the moment. And from the border spreading upwards. I think these are all northern cities that used to listen to Scotty McClue all the time. They need to know about this. I spoke to you on FM Century Manchester Radio, Scotty. Thomas Penman, you top man. Have you done a clip tonight, says Magnus? Not yet, Magnus. 
But um, no, what's happening there will um, 